self dot table data value for k which will be here our k will be index part dot row I'm most probably sure 80% sure this will be the case and here we will be doing total table data value for key tags I will explain this in just a second sorry not sure Okay, the value for key needs to be a string. So we will do here is ns string string with format. This is a number. So let's do it. Okay. Uh, if you have used any other OOP language the most basic way that you use to access a array's data would be array bracket 0 bracket 1 bracket 2 basically the tweet data which you want to access like i want to access that tweet data for the 11 tweet i will just do array bracket 11 the same thing we are doing here index path dot row will return you the integer value of the uh, the row for which cell for row at index path is being run so like if cell for path uh, cell for row at index path is being run for like eight cell no, sorry eight row or ninth row the value of index path dot row will be nine or eight as per whatever row it is and we are asking uh, self dot table data array to give us the tweet data for that particular row like 8 tweet for 8 row, 9 tweet for 9 row, 15 tweet for 15th row and we are storing it on a local table data array just a second let me get some water thank you so Okay, here we are done. Let's just create a breakpoint. Uh, we are doing a test run here, so let's just create a breakpoint and see that our arrays have proper data. Okay, local table data has 20 objects. Y self dot table data twenty objects as well. Let's create NS log NS log here. We are doing this to get the uh, index part dot row. I think it should be section dot row. Index part dot section dot row. Okay, never mind. Okay, so the index part dot row is uh, giving us correct value for each row. So let's just see.
I think we are using this from it shouldn't be value for key then object oh sorry my bad it was yeah definitely it was object at index which is index part dot row yeah we don't even need to use that any string string word format so let's run this one more time okay this time it's correct our local table data which is for the first tweet uh, whose index part in the array is zero obviously it has 23 objects the objects you can see here 0 1 2 3 like this the value we will be getting is for text you can get for anything like uh, create image I think. yeah profile image URL profile details URL time anything you just need to go into the uh, multi uh, two dimensional array or three dimensional array if there are values like this so you will need to go into first into entities then into url then into urls then into again url so it will be like value for key text then again here uh, value for key yeah value for key again url then value for key urls then value for key url so let's remove this i hope our okay yeah this is uh, not in some credit format or anything like that because this is just a demo app and with demo content yeah the first two it is games form the second is dota 2 dota 2 series the third is fp dot something fourth is micro plus congratulations newbie Yeah, all of the 19, uh, 19 tweets are displayed here. Okay, uh, I think we are done here. We got the data we wanted for tweet. You can, as I said, just a second ago, get most of the data just by going within array itself and looping in it. So, what we used was user underscore timeline and gave it a screen name you can use other endpoints like home underscore timeline 